standing next to me, uh, Fred, Fred, pronounce your last name. Kinnitator. Kinnitator. I knew I was going to get it wrong. The Kinnitator, the innovator. And I say that because you're in the innovation zone here. Uh, but you're with BIM M, BIM M for masonry, uh, which is software programs that uh, mason contractors are, are now using. For those that might not be familiar, give a little overview of BIM M for everybody. All right. Um, well, I'm on the contractor side. It's a two-pronged approach we're taking. We're also trying to help designers, uh, you know, architects and engineers uh, with some of their software issues so that they can design more easily with masonry. But on the contractor side, last year we rolled out uh, BIM, Building Information Modeling for Masonry Volume 1. This year we are releasing Volume 2 right now, which is a, a series of case studies showing what contractors are doing with BIM, how they're using the deliverables to make them more profitable and to help their production um, and make them more efficient and be a better part of the construction team. Now, it, there's more capabilities with the BIM M software, correct? Can you, can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? Well, we really, the only software involvement we have is making plugins for the architecture community to use so they can get masonry into Revit easier. On the contractor side, we're using existing softwares. Uh, we have contractors that are using Revit. We have contractors that are using SketchUp. Um, we have contractors that are starting to use Tecla. Um, then there's also third-party purveyors like Cadblocks, who's sharing the booth with us today uh, and, and over the course of the show, um, who are available for contractors if they don't want to do the modeling in-house. They can hire them and they'll create the model for them. But um, when we talked a little bit yesterday, we were talking about, you know, the case studies are important because more contractors are using uh, BIM-M. They feel comfortable with it. And that's one of the things that you want to get out on those case studies is uh, everybody is really getting into this. And, and they want to become a part of BIM-M. Well, it's a, way, it's a way of the future. Yeah. You have to start working in the BIM environment. 70 to 80 percent of the large projects in this country are using BIM at some level. Um, it hasn't got, always gotten down to the to the mason contractor and what BIM M is trying to do is push that down so that it does get to the mason contractor and mason contractors can take advantage of the deliverables and like I said help make them better contractors more profitable more efficient and a better part of the whole construction team yeah I know I mean I'm thinking you're seeing more iPads on construction sites and such so it makes it so much easier doesn't it yeah the information is real time it can be right there um, you can handle your materials better, you can do just-in-time delivery and, you know, have your supply chain more efficient. Uh, you know, there's just, there's a ton of deliverables. You can create your own shop drawings and lift drawings to help the production, you know, your people in the field. Um, the communication between the office staff and the field becomes much better because they're getting it right away as they need it. And that always means bottom line, you're saving a lot of money. And that's what we're looking for. The project, uh, it's going to get done, it's going to get done right, but now we have an opportunity to save more money because of the fact that BIM-M has everything structured for us. Exactly. BIM will have everything structured for you. When you create the model, you're actually building the building before you're going out in the field and building it. So when you're building it in virtually in BIM in your model, you're going to come up with the same problems or conflicts that arise in the field, except you're going to solve them before you get there. I think you and I have a date with Shark Tank. I think what we need to do is we need to do BIM M for kids, and we do it with Legos. You could do it. Sure. That would work. I mean, I see some of these amazing projects that they make with Legos. I think that might be perfect for something like that. Can we, can we do that? Maybe you and I? Sure. That would be a good, good fit. I like that. You and I will take on Mr. Wonderful, and we'll get him out of there. Well, Fred, thank you so much. If folks need some more information, they can, of course, stop by. They can see that. But what do you want them to do? Well, I want them to stop by and pick up uh, Volume 2 of the Deliverables Guide. It gives a lot of good case studies. There's a lot of good information, just like Volume 1, which is available for free download on the website if somebody doesn't have Volume 1. That'll give you a reference guide, and it'll tell them how to get started if they want to or where they can go. Okay, what's the website? Let's get it out there. Uh, BIMformasonry.org. All right, BIMformasonry.org. Fred, thanks a lot. Fred Kinnitator. Correct. See, I knew I'd get it right by the end of the interview. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it.